So we're talking a little bit about new therapies and toxicities in urothelial carcinoma. So it's been a pretty exciting time in the last five years as we've had a lot of new therapeutic options for patients that have urothelial cancer, particularly advanced disease. We're not going to focus as much on immune oncology related immune checkpoint inhibitor therapy. There's a fair amount going on there. But really talk about some of the new antibody drug conjugates and the targeted therapy we have now available through erdofitinib. These drugs are interesting, the antibody drug conjugates. Again, there's a targeting antibody and there's a therapeutic payload. And the toxicity is oftentimes related to that. So what is the mechanism of the payload? These are very potent chemotherapies, uh, frankly. And then what's the distribution of the antigen? So the, the targeting antigen, is it located just in the tumor or is it located in different areas? So with infortinumab vendotin, for example, you see cutaneous toxicity, sometimes quite severe. There is a bit of nectin-4, which is the area that's targeted by this antibody in the skin. You also see neuropathy and hyperglycemia. For sasituzumab, uh, it's, it's a much different um, profile of toxicity. You see a fair amount of marrow suppression, um, and you could see some GI side effects, so more like traditional chemotherapy. Erdofitinib is a target therapy, so we're going to talk a bit about the specific things around that. Hyperphosphatemia, so an elevated phosphorus level, as well as some ocular changes with that. So as the field has changed, I think it's really important to understand the toxicity so we can treat our patients in the optimal, optimal way forward.